Junior's in love with Sassy Sue. Pa, he don't know what to do. No matter who they get, poor Junior can't forget. He's in love with sweet Sassy Sue. I was just, I was just looking for Pa coming around the corner. Well, you better get yourself scrubbed up, Pa. Why didn't you looking like that? Okay, Pa. Sounds like Pa brother Greg Rack the corner this time. Boy, you go get your chores done. Well, sure enough, that is, honey child. Well, howdy, Mr. Willard. Oh, now, you all grown up now. You don't have to call me mister. Will's good enough. Thank you, Will. Well, now, honey, I, I remember you when, when you were just small enough to bounce on my knee. You were just like a baby puppy dog. <laughs> Many's the time I remember peeking from behind the staircase. And you and Pa playing checkers. And wishing I was old enough to sit beside you on the bench. Or still young enough to sit on your lap. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, what do you know about that? Uh, why don't we go into the barn and see what the rest of the chickens are doing? Sure comes as a surprise. Sit right down here now. Now you tell me again how you was uh, peeking at me from behind the staircase. Well, I had this here feeling down twixt my legs. I was too young then to understand it. 
But I promised myself I'd ask you about it when I got grown. <laughs> oh, well, I'd be proud to show you how that feeling just gets a better and better. And just starts vibrating right up here. And then the, the juices start flowing way down here. Ooh, you're right, that's the same feeling I had. Ooh. <laughs> uh, I tell you, let me get this dress off for you and I can show you how things happen better. <laughs> Here's a woman, and you're a man. Well, anyway, honey child here has consented to show you the difference in what they're used for. Oh, Paul, Paul, I, I know already, Paul. Such Paul, I've known for a long time. Well, then get at it, then. I'm gonna leave you be for a spell. Why don't you come and sit down beside me? If, if and we're going to do what I think we're going to do, then I want you to get up, and I want you to come over here. Ma, we got to do something about that young man. Well, now, he may not be as bright as some, and it might clumsier than others. But he'll come around. Oh, that ain't what I'm talking about. It, it's girls, I mean. Shucks. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't no different than any other young'un. They all got to sow their wild oats sometime. Oh, I, I don't mind them sowing as wild oats. It's the type of feel that disturbs me. I don't rightly know what you mean, Paul. I mean, you've got to learn that girls are for other things other than teasing. You wanting me to talk to them, Paul? Oh, uh, I'd do it myself. <laughs> Careful, Paul. Now get over that cake, God damn sorry, Paul. Paul, I'm sorry, Paul. Give me that pan over there. Hold still, man. Okay. Look, Paul. Paul, it's roaring, Paul. Oh, it ain't roaring, Paul. Shit. Ah. <laughs> I ain't wrong. Hey, Ma! Bring me a ladle so we can sample it. Go on, get that stuff into the shed before it explodes. And then take the truck down to the house. Uh, oh. Pick your ears and pick your nose. Pick the dirt between your toes. Cause I'm all yours, buttons and bows. Ooh, 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 I'm all yours, buttons and bows. Oh, Hey, Mo, where, where is it you going? I'm going to outhouse. Why, are you wanting something? No, it can wait. <laughs> you ever didn't make one of these blink things big enough for a normal body? We heard you come way down through the valley, young. Old Jake and Jake said, I reckon it's time to get over to Winters and get some corn. Yep, that's what we said, sure enough. Jed here said, let the plant be, and let's go get some squeezing. They said that for true. 
We just up and left the mules in the middle of the South 40. You know, down there where the river bottom land flooded last spring, poor only spring went bad on him. Yeah, well, I, I reckon you want to have a little taste, huh? See if yeah. it's good enough for money spending. Uh, yeah, go on. True, step in, uh, we're planning on swapping some hay or maybe some salt pork. That sounds better enough. Yeah. Okay. in it this time. No varmints at all? Well, there are one except in a few blue jays, but they don't count. They're always around. Ah! That sounded like more. It sure did. Might have been a screech owl. Could have been. They most usually screech at night. He, that's right. It must have been molding. Come on. Over, you kill her. Come on now, everybody get around here. Oh. Grab a hold on there. Get, get a lifting spot. Get over there. Get around there. Come on. Get off of there. Come on now, when I say three, we're all going to lift. A one, two, three. Okay, your mom, we're going to get down. One, two, and a three. Uh oh. We'll get you out, Ma. Here you go, Ma. You're okay, good enough. Hey, Elmo! Uh, oh, my goodness, what we gonna do? Uh, Junior, Junior, go get that rope over yonder. Now, hurry up, now. Uh, we'll, we'll get you out, Ma. Here you go, Pa. Yeah. You're okay, good. Boy, you just gotta do something about this hat, huh? Uh, I'll take care of it, Ma. Oh, why, take care of it tomorrow. Now, lift your arms up. Get your arms up. Back. What yeah. you gonna do now, Pa? We're gonna lift you out, Ma. We're gonna hoist you out. This is like you were a bale of hay. Okay, then. Everybody reach in now. Get down, Pa. Lift. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I get it. Get the hands out of there. I got the biggest play you ever seen. Yeah, you want me to I should put it out, Mom? Of course you can. I can't see it. Well, come on over to the table then. All righty. <laughs> Oh, oh. Now set her down on the table, Ma. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Take a look. Oh. Oh. Woo. Land of Goshen's. That bad, huh? No, I just remembered I left the hog down at the steel. Well, just get that thar splinter out. Well, it's right there. Sure is. That's right. That's right. Well, now, let me see now. Yeah. What'd you figure it is? Uh, oak, I reckon. Plain oak, wrong color. Uh, I'd say it's fur. So she's got a fur already. <laughs> well, you quit the champion and get it out already. Well, I already got it out a long time ago, Ma. Well, why didn't you say so and still letting a body flapping out here in the breeze all this time? <laughs> well, it was so pretty, Ma, I just wanted to gaze on it a bit. Six, <laughs> Paul. Yes. <laughs> well, Will, we best be meandering on up the valley. Mule's still tied to the plow. Yeah, all right. Ah, uh, Junior, go get Jake a, a jug of corn, and then you can bring down the salt pork to me later, okay? We, we'll do her. Uh, sure will. Yep. <laughs> Ma, you're a corn! <laughs> 
Sure do need a new toilet seat. Hey, Paul, I can make it, Paul. I can make it. Oh. I've been studying the problem. And I figure about almost everybody in the world needs a new toilet seat. I can make a great business in the mail order holes. I could just figure out what to do with that piece I cut out of the middle. I could get me rich. Hey, Paul, you could make, you could use round bread plates hold for. Oh. Hey, Paul, Paul, it's Uncle Bobby John and, and, and Cousin Dottie Lou and, and Dolly Lee. Howdy, Will. Howdy. What can I do for you? Get you some corn? That and gas and ask a favor. Well, now, Junior will get you the corn and he'll get you the gas. And I'll answer your favor. I'm going to mosey down to Centerville to pick up some seeds and such. So I was wondering if I could leave the chillin' here a couple of days till I get back. Well, now, that ain't no problem at all. We'll help you with the chores. And I'm a good cook. Ha! Don't get that corn, you idiot. Get out of here. <laughs> ah! Woo! <Ooh. Ooh. laughs> Sweet things. Ah! Ah! Good to see you, Uncle Willard. Can't stop, Paul. Have yourself a good trip now, Bobby John. <laughs> Sounds sickly to me. Ain't no problem at all, Paul, because I'm a mechanic. If you're a mechanic, I'm a possum. You put gas in this here car. Sure did. Mary dropped. This thing's plumb full. <laughs> I reckon I must have put the corn in there then, Paul. A mechanic, huh? Yeah. Dummy, dumb thing. Well, I can take care of it. When you're giving it one thing kind of drink, you gotta give it the same thing or it'll get sickly. That's right. That's right, Paul. All right, Bobby Joe, crank her up. <laughs> sure must be great gourds. I do believe it's the finest I ever made. No! Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's a devil run! <laughs> Dynamite nearby. Oh, I swear. I should all stop making lightning. Cause I ain't never gonna make any as good as this skin. Hey, Ma, that was the best gooseberry pie I ever done. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> hey, I got you. you better sit down before you fall down, Paul. Oh, I okay. can't. I gotta go up to the still and put in some more mash. <laughs> You'll never find it. Oh, shit, I, I can find that still with my nose. I can go along and pan out the directions for you, Uncle Will. Well, that's real kind of you, Dolly Lou. I've finished the dishes. Reckon I can help Jimmy with the chores now. Well, now, that's right kindly of you, honey. <laughs>
goddamn finest liquor making machinery in the whole county. It's all mine. <laughs> Whew. Man, I feel stone brewing. I've got to get some work done here. Got to get this all taken care of. There. Hey, honey, hand me that barrel over there, huh? Ooh, wee, what a fine pair. Why, whatever do you mean? You know exactly what I mean, youngin. You ain't joshing me. That's the fair, finest little pair of horns I've seen in a long time. You can't touch if you can't catch me. Oh, that's a bargain. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Billy Perkins can catch me. Why can't you? Well, I ain't as young as Billy Perkins. When I get you, you ain't gonna worry nothing no more about Billy Perkins. <laughs> Please get in there. There ain't nothing so pretty in the whole world as man's own farm in the morning. Just need your help for a second. We, fi we finished our chores yet, Bob. All right, just take a minute now. Uh, listen, you girls, come here. Uh, let me see your bottoms. I gotta measure them for sizes. Well, pull your drawers down. Let me see them. Why don't we put some, put, put some paint on a hinder and we can set up here on the board and 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 and, and when she gets up, it, 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 it'll it'll leave, 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 leave her shadow right there on the board. Well, that's right smart, Junior. My belly and bulls, he's got it. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do it this way. Sure he can, Paul. She ain't too heavy. You ain't got no idea how heavy she is right now. Oh. Set it down. What? Just, just rub, 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 rub some cow manure on it. Ow! Run to the horse trough. Oh, in the water! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, now you all just ski down. Get out of oh. here and I'll wash you up with soap. Oh. Oh. Get out of here. Oh, oh. Well, at least I got my first picture on the board. Now I can start cutting her out. Well, I guess I'll go finish my chores.
Carrying a hole for. What are you talking about? This ain't no ordinary hole. This hair is a special, custom made to the behind her toilet seat. Hell, it is. It is. Here, take a swig of this. Woo hoo hoo wee! I dilly dap! That's about the best damn corn liquor you ever did make. <laughs> Yeah, I figure I'm going to be a wealthy man. As soon as word gets around about this here toilet seat, I'm going to be wealthier than Mr. Roebuck himself. Yeah. I reckon that's about as near perfect as it can be. I figured I'd give a free jug of corn with each order. That ought to get him, huh? Sure would. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Can I check your motor here? Sure. Woo! Well, it looks like you could you could do for a little mechanical work here. I can? Sure can. Well, I reckon I'm gonna have to find me a mechanic. Now you don't have to find no mechanic. You looking at one. Sit right here. I'll fix it for you. <laughs> fix this thing and get it going in no time. You go on and do her then. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna find me a shady spot and drink some light. Good idea. I'll fix her right up while you're gone. say here. Trust your soul to God, but leave your behind to me. No, no, that's that's too religious. Baby, a real comfort when you hear it pop. Use Willard seats, it's never a flop. No, no, that's too long. Come on, you're dressing the barn. Wow, look who's here. <laughs> Yeah, I suppose if I'd give Hutch a free jug of corn, he'd be happy to care of my advertising. Well, she's good as new. How's it going? Done. Fine. Hey, Hutch, I, I figured if I gave you a free jug of corn, that you'd be happy to care of my advertising. Sounds reasonable. Good. <laughs> Did you, did you put her back up? No, I put her in go ahead and oh, to the right. What you do now? Nothing, Paul. Go ahead, Hutch. Put her back up and see, and see what happens. Paul, Paul, Paul. You all right, Paul? Oh, get off of me. Thanks. Oh. Well, you all right? Oh. Seems, seems to me like everything's all right, but it ain't. You, you hit right on it. Hey, Paul, what? Paul, I got an idea. I got an idea, Paul. Well, well tell us. Please tell we us. Could, we could take a steering wheel, and we could turn the back seat around and put the steering wheel in the back. Well, man, that, that sounds like a pretty good answer to me. Well, that way you, you could talk to the people that were sitting behind you without turning around. That's right, that's right. That's powerful faulty. Well, ain't gonna be no trouble, cause we, we, we got plenty of them steering wheels around here somewhere. I'm gonna go on down the barn while some time away. 
Well, we'll take care of everything. Well, I just can't I just can't understand what happened, Paul. Well, fix it. Fine. Sure, Paul. riding a two-people bicycle with only one of you. Well, I didn't start out that way. I was coming down Cherry Hill just lickety-split when I hit a rut. I guess that's where he left me. Who left you? Preacher Jones. Well, now, what was Preacher Jones doing riding on the bicycle? Oh, he come by and I was giving him a ride to Widow Brown's. Well, did you go back and look for him? Clear the top of the hill. I guess he must have started off cross-country. I figured he might have come this way. Well, I ain't seen him. I gotta get back to my profession. What's that? What's that? This. That's only a hole. Tain't neither. It's a seat for an outhouse. Must have made fit exactly. Why, Willard? I didn't know you was into another business. Well, I could use a new one of those. You could? Maybe you could come to my place now and we could get the size. Why, well, sure. Son, I'm going out on the house call. Now, if any orders come in, you have your mother write them down. Sure, Paul. Well, let's skedaddle. Okay. Ramp, sit. Hop on, gal. Okay. <laughs> Just as I thought, standard one holer. Got to do some measuring. Uh, you can make some marks on the ground with a stick, and I'll give you the size. Sure will. Scratch down four lines. Scratch down another four lines. Just I thought it's a standard four by four. Well, next thing we gotta do is we, we gotta measure you. How are you gonna do that? Well, now the best way there is now take my two measuring hands, put them side by side, from one end to the other. Okay. Well, no, you gotta take that skirt off though. It, 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 it's in the way. You mean you gotta see my... Well, well now, my... now it's the only professional way to do it. Well, now you ain't got nothing to worry about. It's just like a doctor. You know, we professionals, we don't look at anything else but our work. Then I guess it's okay. <laughs> Golly, wash galoshes, that's pretty. Remember, you're a doctor. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure thing. Where was I? Oh, that's right. How are you coming? Oh, I, I, I come real fine. Real fine. 
Well, you, you can't be too careful about getting the right size now. You... Are you sure you're not getting too attached to your work? Well, now, the next thing you gotta do is sit on my hands. I got a what? Well, now it stands to reason I gotta figure out how much you spread when you sit down now, don't it? Well, maybe. All right, now. I'll just sit right down here. Now, put my hands on my lap. You come sit down right directly on me. Come on. Now, wiggle the wheels around a little bit so it's still there. Oh. Truth of the matter is, I ain't sure you gotta do it this way. Uh, well, well. But I like it. <laughs> well, to tell you the truth, it don't have to be this way, but I think I'm gonna include it in for special customers. Oh. Oh, Willard. That's some exciting. How about measuring me all over? Oh, oh, it'll be my pleasure. Willie? Yeah? I'd like for you to do something special for me. Well, what's that? Well, you see this here special belt I got? Yeah? Could you sort of beat me with it? Do what? Whip me. Like I was a bad little girl. Well, okay. Well, come on. Come on. Well, get them coveralls oh, off. Yeah, sure. Stand there. Uh, you got her done? Yes, sir. I'm pleased as punch about her this time. Looks fine. Well, here, let me help you in there. Get up in there. Boy, she's working. She's just going to go just like everything in the world. Hey. Well, let me see here now. All right. Here. Hey, man. Let's see this way now. Right, turn over this way. You got to be careful now because it's, it, you know, it's steering behind from behind there, see? I'm going to so have to get used careful. to it. That's right. <laughs> it's working, it's working. It's really good. Seems all right. It sure does. You go ahead and crank her over. Okay. Come oh. here, let me see here now. Howdy. 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 Mind if we have some corn and socializing? Not at all. I'll go get it, Patrick. I'll get it. How do you reckon Hutch bought that new car? Yeah, he already had one. Must have struck it rich, I reckon. Here you go. It's a mighty pop of corn, too. You don't mind if we use your barn for a little drinking, do you? It ain't safe to drink and walk. Yep, the two don't mix. <laughs> Should be a law again. No, no, you go 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 right ahead. You 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 don't you don't mind mind if I if I watch, do you? No, no, no. Uh, okay, let's go. <laughs> hey, you, you ain't fixing to leave on my account, are you? We're just gonna sit and drink a while. If I could have a drink, I'd stay. Sure can. Come on, sit down. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Paul's got to get fit. I'll go fetch. <laughs> hey, boy, listen to that. You're Oh, <laughs> 
Sue, Paul. Junior's in love with Sassy Sue. God, I just love Sassy Sue. Oh, he don't know oh, what I do declare. No matter who they get, poor Junior can't forget. He's in love with sweet Sassy Sue. Good day. No great. À, như vậy thì cái mức độ nightmare thì chúng ta sẽ à, vẫn đi chiến đường cũ nhưng mà lúc này mấy con nó Evil ghê beware. Nha. thì mình sẽ đi đến cái hang động à, chiến đây ha à, This place is với tất cả con quái ở trong hang động này cái nhiệm vụ một mình sẽ đi uh, nhanh ha mức độ nai me này thì mấy con này nó khá trâu nha nhưng mà nhiệm vụ là phải diệt hết cho nên chúng ta sẽ đi Mấy không có kêu 
lính lên được ha Tôi sẽ đi qua đây Ok chúng ta sẽ đi um... Do là cái nhiệm vụ này là phải giết Hết tất cả các con, con quái Rồi chúng ta phải đi Để hạn chế nó Cái nhỏ sống vậy nha đi phải hết để diệt uh, hết nha Chúng ta sẽ đi uh, chuyển qua cái uh, cánh đây điếm cho mình sẵn rồi đó mình sẽ điếm ngược nha This cave has been purged of evil. Ok. Như vậy là chúng ta đã xong cái nhiệm vụ đầu tiên nha. Về gặp Akara để được hưởng rồi xong. Với cái mức độ mình chọn là Nightmare. Mình thấy nó cũng dễ dàng đúng không? Ta sẽ trở về và hoàn thành cái nhiệm vụ đầu tiên ở mức độ Nightmare.
mình sẽ gặp Akara để uh, nhận thưởng nha Akara đâu là thời rèn Sashi Akara thì uh, có vẻ là ở bên góc bên đây nha Greetings, young sir. You have cleansed the den of evil. You've earned my trust. And sẽ chọn cái skill lightning spell hay là fire spell, cold spell. Cross nobody. Ok, rồi, vậy thì mình sẽ dừng cái video đây ha Mình sẽ uh, tiếp tục đánh ở cái trận sau <cười>